Hey, today I will explain my hack how I save tons of money on drone batteries, especially these expensive DJI batteries. But first, let's put spare batteries on charge so we will be ready after I finish my first flight with the Avatar. And yeah, I have bought the Avatar drone again. There is no going back after you get to fly with the 1080p video and goggles. This footage is straight from the DJI FPV goggles. I know it looks like a GoPro footage, but trust me, this is exactly how good the avatar looks in the goggles. Goggles V2 to be precise. I have downgraded to the old model and I have made a whole separate video on why I like the old V2 goggles more. This is actually my first flight with a new drone after returning the first kit. So maybe I will not risk going through the car on my first flight today. I mean, I could easily make it with a motion controller. That one was like cheating for flying gaps. But let's actually return and check if our batteries have finished charging. Let's put the battery we just flown on charge. And this one is almost done charging. And this is the actual hack. I have done over 10 flights shooting a rally and I did that by recharging my free avatar batteries from a big and cheap power bank. I do the same with the regular PV drone batteries and this is my old power bank. Now I got a new larger one which can recharge over 10 of these avatar batteries. And the best part? The whole station costs less than two extra DJI Avatar batteries. It has 60 watts USB-C port, so it does quick charging, fully tops the Avatar battery in about 30 minutes. Oh, and this is not a launch pad, it's a solar panel. 100 watts panel can recharge the whole power station in about 6 hours of sun. On average day, I get around 60 watts from the sun. So 100 watt solar panel will top the power station in less than a day. Oh, and look, the big battery is done charging. Yeah, the DJI the PV drone is much faster than the Avatar. This video is not even sped up. Let's switch to the manual mode now. And yeah, this is bad. The old DJI drone is so bad. So let's switch back to the avatar. And look at this jump in video quality. How much better everything looks on the avatar's camera. Way better colors and way bigger dynamic range. Just the whole definition is way better on the avatar. And maybe let's try manual mode on the avatar too. What? What the hell is this? It does not even let me do a roll on this fake manual mode. I guess I will need to check the settings after I land. And maybe this is the guard coming for us. Yep, definitely it's a guard and he is kicking me out. Well, at least we can top the batteries while we'll change, I'll change the location. Let's do a lazy window launch. And I guess this is it for today. Bonus hack, you can use a cheap car charger to put another 100 watts USB-C port. So I really do like the new station. It has 60 watts power delivery port, perfect for the avatar. And I can plug goggles, remote, action camera, and have us charging all at the same time. Plug DJI wall charger to AC socket. And maybe two more regular 6S FPV batteries. And we are still only at 220 watts. We are not even hitting maximum limit now. And what is even better, this station can be charged from solar while it is being used charging all these batteries. 
So since I got the station, I haven't charged a single drone battery from a wall. I have been flying literally for free on solar power all the summer. So yeah, definitely a must have for any drone pilot. I will put a promo code in the video description. And thanks for watching. Subscribe. I guess I will be a view. <laughs> I guess I will be abusing the little avatar in full manual mode in the next video. Or maybe leave a comment below if you want to see my solar setup. Or maybe test your Zia Power solar panel next. Well, hit that like, leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next one.